What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. I'm Debunk, and this is my single-player Let's Play World here on the Bedrock Edition. So, in the last episode, now that I'm stuck on this... Oh, well. Um, Alright, we'll do it this way. In the last episode, we built this um, smelter building here. with the, You can see the smelter on the inside there, and I didn't like the way my tower looked after the last episode, so I did rebuild it. Got some uh, popicles planted around here, so I want this all to be overgrown. So hopefully they'll grow up soon. Uh, you can see I've done the same thing back here. Jeez. Uh, I can't get up now, can I? So I just made this out of brick and granite and uh, threw some uh, whatever those things are called in there. And I put, at first I actually tried to put a uh, deep slate roof on it, but didn't like it. So I tried dark oak with spruce and I think it looks pretty good. And I think once all these trees grow in, it'll really look good. So yeah, uh, that's where we got, uh, you know, all these vines are going to grow and then these trees are going to grow up. It's going to look all overgrown. I think that'll look way better. Um, so yeah, that was last episode. And um, I don't think I've done much on the inside, but I'll just double check. Yeah, I still got to do some work in here to make it look more finished. Um, but it's functional for now. And uh, I think I used up all the bone meal. These are all full up to there. Um, but yeah, looking good, and I'm happy with it, and uh, more to come, I guess, with the interior here. But that is not what we're going to do in today's episode. In today's episode, where's, um, oh yeah, I noticed this too. I'm missing a villager. I've seen stuff online about people having villagers just despawn on them, and I was like, well, they must be doing something wrong. And yet, here we go, I had a villager despawn my guess is because this is a half slab my best guess is that he probably somehow glitched underneath of here and probably drowned to death is my guess that's that's what i think happened um obviously i don't know that for sure but i have a suspicion that uh, that's what happened there so anyway let's grab some materials and today we are going to head off and find us an ancient city um, because I had talked about wanting to do that a few a while ago, and I kind of chickened out, and so today we're going to resume that um, as our goal. So let me grab some wool, get prepared, and then we will head out and search for an ancient city. All right, guys, so I have all ready to go. I've got my totems, some totems. I've got my wool in my ender chest, and we're going to be heading off in that direction. Um... So I actually went on to um, a creative copy of this world, and I actually located an ancient city. And I know that's kind of cheaty, but um, I wanted to be able to just go and see an ancient city and uh, not do the whole searchy-searchy thing. Uh, one last thing before we head out that way. Somebody had asked me in a couple episodes ago uh, how long I've been playing in this world. And uh, using Foxy's uh, data pack here, um, I'm able to see I have 451 in-game days. So that's where we are. Uh, as of right now. So let me grab my rockets and we're going to head to uh, the coordinates are somewhere around 2400 and negative 1700. So that is where we are heading. Okay, so we are near to the area. I think what we're going to do is um, start making our way down into these caves. Um, this looks like a good enough spot to start. Let's see if this is actually going to take us somewhere. It is not. I think what I may do is just dig down and see if we can't find this thing, come across it. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. What on earth is that? Oh, that's a spider spawner. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not here to explore this, however. All right, let's go find us a uh, ancient city, guys. Aha! Uh -huh. 
we set our spawn here in case we die. We can come back. And I think I might even put, let's see, an extra ender chest here. These are just blocks and stuff I've picked up. So keep those in there. And all right, let's see how this is gonna go. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh. Let's go. Oh yeah. Get already good man.
you can see him right in front of me there um yeah mistakes were made i've died a couple times in fact i'm down to my very last totem i think i brought about seven with me and uh yeah uh mistakes were made guys mistakes were made i wonder if i can shoot at him and not have him kill me here i'm just gonna go You see him right there, right above my thing? Like, I don't dare go any closer to him. You see him? Yeah, that's the warden. And, uh... Yeah, he... He couldn't get to me, but he shot me with his little boom thing. And he hit me like... He would hit me, and I would die. And pop a totem, I'd put a new totem in, and pop another totem. He popped all my totems except for one. And then I died. And I respawned, got my stuff back, and now I'm... Uh, what the heck was that? Did he go away? Is that what that was? Oh my gosh. Like, I'm just slowly trying to light this place up and make it safer for me. <laughs> but holy smokes, guys. This is, uh... So I keep getting mobs spawn up there, so I need to go up there and light that up. And then maybe I'll come up here over here. But I'm just, I'm being so careful because I really don't want to die in here once my totems are gone. Like, I don't want to lose my stuff, is, is what I mean. Yeah, that's, uh, that's scary. I got a light up there. Here we go. There's probably a chest up there somewhere, too, right? Oh, must be a top. 
Where's the thing? Holy smokes. Oh, I want to go. Well, that's trigger right there. Something over here. Oh, that's not, that's not trigger. Don't you dare. Holy. Okay, so the creeper's cool, don't do that. The creeper's gone, probably. Come up here now. Let this torch it. Just let it go all the way around, okay? Oh, this is scary. We're gonna have to listen to some of the shards, music discs. Not for that, or that, or that, or that. Regen, they've got me to help me. Feels like a safe spot for me at the moment. Like, feels like a safe spot for my energy. <gasps> oh no, I left my energy out there. Ooh. Okay, so that's the good as we got so far. So let's keep us being safe. This is insane. I've got to believe the best method for exploring these things is very, very slowly and very, very carefully.
I went back to safe. All right, y'all. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. There's this thing is so massive. There's so much to this. Um, I'm just overwhelmed with trying to explore it all and try to make it so that it's safe for me to explore it all. That I'm going to actually end the episode here. And uh, I'm going to keep exploring this. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to keep exploring this thing. And. And when I am done exploring it, I will uh, come back and start the next episode. Um, oh gosh, what is this guy doing? Where did he go? Seriously? Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to keep working on this and clearing this out. And um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the little bit of clearing that I've done so far. And... Uh, I will see you guys back in the next episode. Hopefully back in the in my little town and do some more building. Um, boy, this has just been the most nerve-wracking ever. Um, okay, yeah, let's wrap it up. Guys, thanks so much for your support and your patience with me as I'm transitioning to my new job and, and uh, not able to be as consistent as I'd like to be. Uh, again, thank you, and guys, uh, until next episode, bye for now.